Hi, this video is going to go over why marginal benefit equals marginal cost at the optimum in almost every economics problem. So you'll see this a lot. You'll get MB equals MC. So we're going to talk about why that is in this video, what it means, and then give some examples using a consumer approach and then a firm approach. So when you look at your typical graph, you're going to have an upward sloping marginal cost curve, and this is typically going to be supply, and a downward sloping marginal benefit curve, which is typically demand. Q quantities on the x-axis, P prices on the y-axis, and so why does our demand curve or marginal benefit have a downward slope? It's because of diminishing marginal benefits. So imagine if you were a consumer and you were buying something like pizza, that first slice you bought would have a high marginal benefit. But as you consumed more and more and more, you're seeing that marginal benefit decline. And marginal benefit means the next unit that you're consuming. This quantity amount right here shows a difference between the benefit you're receiving here and the cost you're paying to get it. As you consume more and more, the difference between the two is getting smaller until at some point they're equal to each other. If you go past this point, your marginal cost is now greater than your marginal benefit. So you're getting a negative surplus or a net loss in deciding to consume that amount. So if you're anywhere to the left, you're giving up potential gains because marginal benefits greater than marginal cost. So starting here at marginal benefit equals marginal cost, if you're anywhere to the left, you're giving up potential gains because benefits are greater than costs. If you're anywhere to the right, then you're losing because your costs are greater than benefits and you'd be better off by consuming less. So if you're anywhere to the left or right of this point where marginal benefit equals marginal cost, then you're not going to be at the optimum your utility or your benefits or your happiness aren't as happy as they could be. Now let's look at a perfectly competitive firm for example. So here we'll have quantity and price and we know that in perfect competition price is horizontal but our marginal cost is upward sloping. Here price equals our marginal benefit for that competitive firm. As we produce more and more, you can see that price is above our marginal cost. So we keep wanting to sell more and more goods because we can sell them at a higher price than it costs us to produce them. But when we go beyond this point of MB equals MC, then our costs are now higher. And that's not a good thing. We could benefit by lowering our production and going back to where marginal benefit equals marginal cost. Finally, we could look at a monopoly or a monopolistic competition and we would have our demand, our marginal revenue, and then our marginal cost. So here, our marginal revenue would be our marginal benefit and the same sorts of principles apply. If we're to the left of where marginal benefit equals marginal cost, we're leaving potential gains on the table, and we could benefit by producing more. If we're to the right, then we're losing money or profit in those transactions, and we'd be better off by producing less, until we get to this magical point of where marginal benefit equals marginal cost.